it's no longer news that global foil in oil price has been negatively affecting governors across states in the country. The shortfall in revenue is making it impossible for many governments to pay salaries as well as embark on new developmental projects. For the Niger state governor, the situation has made it necessary for him to meet labor leaders on the best way to deal with issues relating to wages. We have engaged labor and we're still talking to them and we'll lay the cards on the table. We're not hiding anything. We're very transparent, as transparent as we can. But the truth of the matter is I cannot give what I don't have. I wish I had. If I had, personally, if I had that kind of money, I would have paid from my pocket. But I can't. Governor Bailey also spoke about investigations into the recent crisis in the state. Stories that were reported, and of course, you know, there's uh, always you have this sensitive nature when it comes to people. And uh, one person was killed. Later on, we, we had uh, either the police or the army shot at civilians, and three or four people lost their lives. I have since instituted an uh, investigation panel. And, um, uh, as them to investigate what really happened so that we can, uh, uh, we can address the situation. But I believe um, at the moment the deputy government is here. I think uh, the situation is calm now. Uh, we will await the results of the investigative panel so that we can mitigate against this from happening. He maintained the government is keen on ensuring that the state remained free of sectarian and religious crises.